Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to work on open number lines. To start off, we are going to solve a story problem. Our story problem says Elise has 23 buttons in her craft box. She buys a package of 10 more buttons. How many buttons does Elise have now? Well, to begin, we know that Elise started with 23 buttons. So we're going to start at the number 23 on our number line. Then it says she buys a package of 10 more buttons. So that means I'm going to add 10 to this number. So I'm going to count by ones until I get to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know that 23 plus 10 equals 33. That is my number model. Now, would there be a quicker way for us to be able to get from 23 to 33? All we have to do is we're going to do a big jump of 10. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to erase all of these right here. These are our little jumps or otherwise known as hops because we're counting by ones. But I know in second grade, we know how to count by tens. So if I start at 23, which number is going to change? Is it going to be the tens place or the ones place when I count by tens? It's going to be the tens place. The tens place will change. So I know it's going to go up by one. So that takes me to the number 33. And so I keep track of everything. I need to write plus 10 above my number. So instead of doing all those little jumps, I know the tens place changed from 23 to 33. How much easier it was to just jump by tens. Now we showed this problem on a number not line, a regular number line. What we're learning about today is an open number line. An open number line is blank. There are no numbers written on it until you write them. So what they did is pretty much what we did, but they didn't have any numbers already written because you know that 23 plus 10 more is 33 because our tens place change. Now, when you mentally do addition or subtraction, but you need to show your thinking, an open number line is a great way to help you with this. Now, how might the open number line be helpful when we solve these number stories? They're quick and easy to draw. It can help keep us track of our steps. So we're going to use a number line on our next problem. This problem says, Peter has 64 blocks in his toy box and 20 blocks on the table. How many blocks does he have in all? Well, I know that our first number we started with because he had 64. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 64 on my, my open number line and put a little dot so I can start there or a line. And then what I'm going to do is I need to add 20 blocks. Now, I know an easy way of doing that is counting by tens. So here's 10, 20. And above those, we write plus 10. So we keep track of our thinking. So we've got plus 10 on each. Well, I know that when we add 10 more, we are changing the tens place. So 64 will turn into 74. 74 plus 10, we're going to change that tens place, will turn into 84. So our answer for this problem, which is 64 plus 20 equals 84.